So just two days ago, Christy David, popular YouTuber, would make his return to the YouTube platform. And this video wasn't a hoplite video or a bedwars video. It was actually an upload called The Dark History of Badline Client. And in today's video, I really just want to talk about how dumb this video is. So basically, to summarize the entire thing, the start of the video, he gives a brief history about Badline Client. And then he pretty much talks about the rise of his channel and how Badline reached out to him since he was being real successful in the Minecraft community. And they basically offered him a cape and any cosmetic he wanted on the store. And in return, he would get 25% of the sales on his items and then if someone uses like creator code or promo code whatever you want to call it he would basically get a 50% cut of the revenue instead however this is all him talking about stuff that happened over three years ago and what Krusty David in his video said he was just 17 years old at the time but the reason this video is really stupid is he's trying to say bad line was giving him bad prices which in reality 25% of revenue isn't the best thing but I mean the 50% isn't that bad at all but the prices are simply objective everyone can have their own opinions on how much the creator should be getting paid but like I said this all happened three years ago so it's almost irrelevant now, but most of the points Krusty David was bringing up is that he didn't read through his own contract, which I'm sorry, this is just the most idiotic thing to make a video about you not looking over your own agreement you're signing. And he basically tried to say, oh, I didn't read through the contract agreement and they're trying to trick me with stuff. And he's trying to call Badline out for this, but honestly, you should have read through your own contract agreement. And they basically tried to expose him for having their contract renew every six months. And after you leave Badline, you have to wait four months until signing with a new person or a new team such as a Lunar Client. And this video, honestly, it feels like he's just trying to uh I don't know, he's like kind of sucking up the Lunar Client the entire video, which obviously this video can be taken in many different ways, but when I was watching it, I was kind of just baffled by it all. Since this whole video is just him like talking about his own ignorance and then trying to put it back on Badline Client. Well, I'll play a clip from the video when he's talking about the whole, uh, you can't leave Badline Client after four months. Coming off of that point, another thing is that Badline Client partnerships instantly renewed every six months despite you knowing that it would. And that if you were to leave this contract, we'd have to wait four months in order to even basically get a new job or new partnership with another client otherwise legal action could occur and he's basically trying to pin this all back on with the whole uh, the dark history of bad line client when it's literally him not sitting through with a lawyer his parents even like anyone anyone remotely smart who can look through a contract and then three years later or so making a video on this after he signed with a better company and then pretty much the next part of this video is how he pretty much voided their contract broke their contract agreements which was legally bounded to him by leaving bad line client and not waiting the four months which was in the contract to go with a lunar client as they were a brand new client and offered him better rates because of that and then pretty much the rest of this 14 minute video is him talking to psyche which if you guys don't know is the lunar client owner and pretty much the entire interview is him just asking questions which throw shade on badline client pretty much summarizing this video as him having a personal vendetta against badline client because he was ignorant and he might have taken a bad deal but he didn't look through the contract and i'm not saying badline gave them an amazing deal at the time because it's not the best deal but it really isn't the worst because if we look back at that time badline client was the number one client and they pretty much dominated the entire market and everyone was playing with them and it wouldn't be until later after crusty would blow up a little bit more he would take the lunar client deal which they still weren't a competitor to bad line at that time but then they soon would be but with that line controlling the market and being the only client which really had players they're gonna be taking a lot of stuff since it's obviously a business they're trying to make money and they're providing something amazing to the content creators as in this point in time there were another clients which were competing against bad line but to go back to the end of this video really the majority of the video which was the interview of the lunar client owner and the weird thing about this interview is the majority of it is just him talking bad about the bad line client and their team which honestly isn't a great look for a lunar client but i feel like it kind of gets off past with the whole title of the dark history of bad line client as crusty david really isn't providing any history to it and i really think it's just a clickbait video and it kind of flopped on his channel as well as this honestly really isn't a good video at all and then it wraps it all up with pretty much him talking about bad line client old owners archie bot and master g barry being exposed like five years ago for being pedophiles which obviously is awful but they are no longer involved in bad line at all which is amazing but that is exactly how he ends off this video but pretty much this video doesn't seem like the dark history of Badline client whatsoever or history video at all. It's pretty much Krusty David explaining how he was ignorant and didn't read his contract and kind of got screwed over. Which in my personal opinion, I really don't think he got screwed over that bad and how much he's trying to act like. But in conclusion, this video is super stupid and uh, it's pretty much just a Badline hate video. Including an interview with the Luna client owner which pretty much says, oh yeah, Badline's bad, Badline's bad, we're, we're the better client pretty much. But when I first watched this video, I saw a comment which I want to read off to you guys. I'm just thinking why you made this video. If the staff and treatment has changed, I do understand that it's 
kinds of things should be brought to light. But I've seen so many videos covering the same thing. Videos like this make it harder to grow the new bad line. The title kind of throws shade at the modern bad line, as he said it's good now. Correct me if I'm wrong about what bad line is right now. And I think Krusty David originally had a different title for this video, and it was like bad line uncovered or like the the dark truth behind bad line. When in reality, bad line is under amazing management now, and the client really has changed a ton. And all this information in this video is completely irrelevant. But yeah, bad line has changed a ton. This is all just a stupid hate video. And this video, um, I mean it's a good video, it has amazing editing, but it really just seems like Krusty David has a weird vendetta against bad line because he was young, ignorant, and honestly stupid for not looking over his contract. And then he basically talked about him voiding the contract and then going to litter client, which is illegal because it was in the contract. And then it wraps it all up with uh bringing up old drama and then a weird interview with the litter client owner. But maybe I'm just crazy. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. But I really think this is a stupid video. But uh this is Kyle Hate, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry for the ranting video. I just really wanted to publish this. This video really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!